eyes up here. Clocks found eyes up here. We learned that we can divide a clock into four pieces, which are like quarters. Just like we can divide a, quarter, a dollar into four quarters, a football game into four quarters, a school year into four quarters, we can divide a clock into four pieces or quarters. This first piece is from 12 to 3 is going to be, look up here guys, a quarter after. So whenever our minute hand, whenever our minute hand is at the 3, it is going to be a quarter after. Fix, solve the problem. Thank you. Now guys, if this is going to be a quarter after, what if my minute hand goes from a quarter after all the way down to the bottom? How far has it gone around the clock, Carson? No. This is a quarter. Carson, my minute hand starts here and it goes down to the six. How much of that clock has it gone around? Watch. Top to the bottom. A half of an hour. Good job. So, Mrs. Murphy, in a little bit, I'm not going to do it right now, but I'm going to put a quarter after up by the three for the minutes. I'm going to put half past at the bottom. Who remembers? This is the tricky one. Who remembers when that minute hand is at the nine? What do we call it or say, Hayden? Quarter two. Quarter two. And another word they use is until. So quarter to the next hour or quarter until the next hour. Okay, then everybody should know this one. And I don't know if I'm going to fit it at the top up there because when you look over at the zero, zero, you can barely see it. Who knows? Everybody should know this. When my minute hand is at the top, what do we say? Three o'clock. O'clock. So at the top, it's going to be a clock. Okay. Or you could stick, stick on the top of the O-O. I know. It might have to be way at the top. Okay, this is going to be a little quiz. We're going to see how much you remember from Friday. So everybody has a clock, right? Eager, do you have one too? Go grab one. I know you did the worksheet, but you can do this with us. Okay? All right, make your clock say 2 o'clock. And I don't want to talk you. I just want to see how fast you can do it. 2 o'clock. We're going to start easy. Two o'clock. Awesome. Look how fast and quiet you guys are. And Mrs. Murphy, instead of giving you a thumbs up, I'm just going to look around. Unless I give you a thumbs down, yours is perfect. Awesome. Everybody has two o'clock correct. Let's make it say a quarter after two. Quarter after. Quarter after two. You have half past. You have two o'clock. You have half past. You have half past. Good job, Raylan. You have a quarter two. I want a quarter after. You have two o'clock, Ellie. Good job, Mason. You fixed your hour. Good job. All right, show Mrs. Murphy your clock. Does yours match mine? Yes! 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 Some of you, a lot of you actually went this way. You went half past. This is half past. Remember, it's just think it's went halfway around the clock. Half past. This is a quarter. It's went one fourth. That's a quarter of the clock. Okay? All right, now this one's easy. Half past two. Everybody should get this one. Half past two. Quarter until three. 
45. What's the time? 2.45. Okay, all right. Here's my next one. We're going to go from a quarter to. Now we're going to go to quarter after. So we're going to go back to quarter after. I'm going to test you on these. Okay, make your clock say a quarter after 7. Quarter after 7. You guys should be able to do this one a little bit faster. Quarter after 7. Um, Brooklyn, after. Kaden, yep. Nope. After, guys, after. Oh, I you guys are going to, I went after. You have half. Addie's good. John, you're good. Allie's good. You have after. Two. I went after. Good job. Nope, you have two. I went after. But you have half. Mason, you have your hand. You have two, and I'm after. Here, Melissa. Boop. Melissa, I think fix your hand because I might it. I want that hand's not quite right for a minute. Um, fix your hour, honey. Hour? No, minutes aren't right. All right, show Mrs. Murphy your clock. Look at mine. Look at yours. Show, just show it. All right. Show me, don't say anything. Now listen. Some of you are having flying clocks. You shouldn't be. That means I have not dropped my clock once. And I've actually held it with one hand the whole time, most of it. You guys are using two hands. If I hear clocks flying anymore, and they're going to be breaking, you're going to be clipping down. Now, I said a quarter, sorry, my hand fell. A quarter after. A lot of you went a quarter two. I want a quarter after. So your little hand, your hour hand should be at the seven. Your minute hand should be at the 15. So what time is this? 7.15. job. You got it right. I asked the time. 7.15. Awesome. Okay. All right. Let's do just two more. Let's do a quarter after five. Quarter after five. Show Mrs. Murphy. Riley, fix your minute hand, honey. You have a quarter two. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job, Brooklyn. Mason, fix your minute hand. Brooklyn. Oh, you have your hand. Switch, buddy. Switch your hand. Let me see your person. Yes, we're good. Ali, you have a quarter two, honey. Quarter after. Quarter two. Good job, Mason. Good job, guys. Good job. Riley. All right, show Mrs. Murphy your clock. Here. All right, yours should match mine. Now the quarter after five. One more time and you're done. I don't know how it would have flying like that. It almost hit her seat. All right, your minute, your hour hand should be at the five. Your minute hand is a quarter after. What time is this? Five fifteen. Okay, last one. All right, last one. A quarter after eleven. Quarter after eleven. Quarter after eleven. Brooklyn, you have a quarter to 11. Oh, quarter dang after. it. Mason, you have hey, not quite. Hey, quarter oh, after 11. So do your hour hand first, 11. Uh -uh. Quarter after 11. You, have your minute, you and Mason have your hour minute switch. Switch your minute hour. Close, not quite there yet, though. Why do you have half pass? Ellie, you're good. Good job, Charlotte. Good job. Good job, Carlos. Good job, Brooklyn. Okay, show Mrs. Murphy, everybody. No. No. I think most of you got this right away. It was easy. Okay, hey, listen, a quarter after 11, what time is it? 11.15. 11.15. Okay. Yours doesn't say 11.15. Yours doesn't say 11.15. Yeah, exactly. All right, what I want you to do now is 
put your clocks, you're not going to need them right this minute, put them up by your pencil box, so you're not going to touch them and use them right this minute. I'm going to have Mrs. Stewart, since she's just so quick, give everybody one, except this is Ingrid, okay? This Ingrid, I want you to keep this because we're going to add some to it. Because she was gone on Friday afternoon, and I thought we were going to get to our worksheet, but we really had a hard time, so she didn't get to it, or we didn't get to it, and I forgot to tell her mom, just have her not do it, so it's okay. She's just going to be a little ahead, and that happens sometimes when you're gone. Sometimes you get ahead, sometimes you get behind. Okay? So that's why she has hers done. Braylon, did you bring yours back in your folder? You didn't tell me to. Yeah, you did. Yeah, she did. You told me to just not worry about it. I said to bring it back. Out. I said to bring it back. I said don't worry about doing it. Just bring it back because we need it. Did you bring it back in your folder? No. You, you're listening, buddy. I think we need to. Yeah, we just we know that. That's what I said. Okay, Miss Shaper's first group, you may go. Okay, are we short one? Because we might be. Because Raylan didn't bring his back. Like I have one. Excuse me, second graders. Okay. Mrs. Stewart, do you want to run and make her happy real quick? Okay, Lila, Mrs. Stewart's going to make a copy and she'll make you one. Okay? While she runs, we'll get started. So up here at the top, please put your name nice and neat, everybody, right now. Whenever we have our long minute hand at the top, what are we going to say for the hour? O'clock. Raise your hand if you know. Mason, what are we going to say? O'clock. So right now with your pencil, you and Mrs. Murphy, we are going to write O'clock above this 12. Okay? So you're going to put an O. A little apostrophe and then spell the word cool ock. I should put O O. No, right, O clock. And this is exactly what Mrs. Murphy is going to put above the zero zero for the minute. So once it gets back to the 60 and it starts over at zero, we'll put O clock. Okay, now. We're going to say our minute hand is going to go from the top, and it's going to move all the way down to the three. So, how much of the clock has it gone, Carson? A quarter. So, we're going to say a quarter what, Carson? Quarter after. Sometimes you might say past, like a quarter past eight. That's another word. But a lot of times you'll see after. Actually, let's put both. I might change my little slip here. Because sometimes you're going to see after, sometimes you're going to see the word past. So quarter after eight. A quarter past eight. So put both, please. Put both. Are you ready, Carson? Get ready. So I might fix this. Actually, when you guys are at music and buy ads, I'm going to change this to say the two words because you are going to see it both ways. Okay. Now, let's think. If our minute hand goes from
from the top, and it goes all the way down to the bottom. How much of the clock has it gone? Hayden? Half. 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 Excellent. So at the bottom. We're going to write down by the six. It's gone halfway around the clock. It's gone all of this half. This whole thing. You do not need to color yours, but I'm just showing you on mine. Halfway, half caps. Miss Murphy, you know, mom, half says half. Yeah. Why is there half? Half. You don't hear the L very well. Do you? I thought it just I thought it says half. No, just half. You don't really hear that L, do you? It's a sign. Yeah. Okay, now, Mrs. Murphy is going to do the last quarter because we've got this quarter done. We got this quarter done too, so we've gotten half of it or two quarters. Now, if we do a third quarter, our minute hand is at the nine. And this one's a tricky one because we are going to say it's two this next hour. So, what are we going to say, Wyatt? Quarter two, and another word we might use is until. Two. So quarter two two, or quarter until two. Like, isn't that the, um, the second Yeah, the second hand does go fast because it's every second. Yep. So whenever you look at clock, most of the time you see three hands. That second hand is a quick hand. The, the, the minute hand is a medium hand for speed, and then the hour hand is very slow. Okay? So whenever it's here, we have a quarter until the next hour. Here at the bottom, I gotta look at the sheet here. I think we're just gonna skip that part because I just want us to make sure we write these. So down here it says a quarter past, just cross that off. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we're not gonna worry about that because we've been practicing. We've been practicing on our small clocks. the right way, so I'm going to have to open it up a different way, so give me a second. Sorry about that, guys.
115. All right, trace that. So we have 1 o'clock, 115. Now, we have a half past 1. So what time is that, Lily? 1 30. Excellent. Good job, Lily. And then finally, my minute hand goes up to nine. And I have a quarter till two. Or quarter until or quarter two to two two. So Ellie, what time is that? Um 145. 145. Okay, so this is just what we practice on our small class on Friday and today. Now, down here, uh, I'm gonna draw some sticks. Just a second. Oh, here we go. And I'm gonna see if you guys can come up here and do the time by writing it up here. Okay, so look at number one. Think what time is that? And let's see if you can write it. Write it on your paper. And then I'll see if Libby's not in here. Let's see if Carson. Carson, come up here and write the time. Okay, go ahead, you guys. Write number one. See if you can get the time right. Carson, just one second. It keeps. There we go. Okay. Hey, Carson, what time is it? Right. Is Carson right, guys? No. No. Ooh, no. This is our right. No. Yes. No. Yes. yes. Carson, yes. is ours not right? It's no, it's right. Yes. Hayden, is it our right? Yes. Okay. So is ours right? Is this minutes right? No. no. So you have 30 minutes. 30 is going down the bottom. Is he right now? Yes. yes. So the time is 11.15. Or a quarter after 11. Say that. Quarter after 11. Mason, that's not how we sit at our desk. Put your feet down and clip down, please. That's being very disrespectful to our property, and it's not fair that you get to do it and nobody else gets to. Okay, look at number two. Who can figure out this time? Write it down on your paper. Let's see if LES. Can you come up with Ellie? Graders, look at Charlotte's. Is this right? Yes. yes. What time is this? Six forty-five. Or a quarter till seven. No, it's seven. It's almost to seven. It's a quarter to seven. It's not at seven yet. Okay. All right. Let's go on. You are going to skip the independent practice to do that in a minute. So let's go on to the back to the brain builders. Just give me a second here. Okay. We got, we're going to do the top 
to problem solving. Let's cross off the brain builders. Okay, here's number 13. Maya is at school. School is over at 3.15. She has three more hours to wait. Okay, just rip off the bottom one. What time is it now? Mrs. Stewart, you can just recycle that one. Okay, on your small clocks, I want your time to say 3.15. she does. But she has to wait three more hours. So now watch guys. Watch what I'm going to do. Carson. I'm going to make my hour hand go around one hour. Back to the three. Two hours. Three hours. Carson, what time is it now? He goes, we go from 3.15 to 4.15 to 5.15 to 6.15. So we change our hour. That's the only thing we have to change. The 15 stays the same. So it goes from 3.15 to 6.15. Okay, the next one. Ken goes to his friend's house at 2.15. Circle the clock that shows us time. I'm going to draw a stick. We'll see if this friend can come up here and do it. Um, how about a couple friends are just walking in, so I don't want to call on them. LEA, which clock says 2.15? And if you're just coming in, we're on the back. Ooh. 2.15. Awesome. Circle it, please. Circle. Okay. This one is two because the little hand's up at two. And this minute hand has gone 15 around. All right. Now listen to the directions. Miss Shaper's second group, listen. You are going to go to her room. And when you come back, you need to finish the independent practice. And if you don't get it done before music, you need to finish it at snack time. Okay? Mrs. Shaper's second group, go ahead and go. John, are you in her group? Okay. All right. Mason, I'm going to ask you again to put your feet down. All right. Now, Mrs. Shaper's first group that just came back. I'm going to catch you up in just a minute. So wait a second. The rest of you, you're going to go on and do the independent practice. And what you're going to do on the independent practice is you're going to look at the box at the top and tell it, write the time. And then down below, you need to write quarter till, what time is that? Quarter past and quarter past. And then down here, read that and write the time. So sometimes you have to read it and write it. When you get done, hand it in, go get your dictionaries, and work on those. If you get those done, you have two choices. You can either do epic at your desk or freckle. But our voices are going to stay a zero. Okay, go ahead and go. 